This game allows you to feel what it's like to be bombed. You really feel like a secret agent. It is intense, explosive, suspenseful. This is Gold Knife for today. Your mission in the game begins with uh, General Oromov as a target. How dare you interrogate this man without my presence? You have ten seconds. However, you soon realize that there's someone behind General Oromov, and that person is much more sinister. Hello, James. We actually find out eventually that it's Alec Trevelyan, your friend and colleague, is actually the arch villain. You then also encounter what we'd call boss characters, like Xenia on a top, and these present various levels of difficulty to you. For England, James. And if you don't feel like playing single player, you can play uh, all sorts of classic characters in the split screen multiplayer. Odd job has got his bowler hat, which he uses like a grenade. Scaramanga obviously has the golden gun. When you're working through the environment, you've got 25 weapons to choose from. Silence pistol, automatic pistols, submachine guns, Russian assault rifles, rocket launchers. I mean, the range of weapons is absolutely enormous. We think this game's going to be best known for the choice it gives the gamer. This is what differentiates a Bond game from all other games. There really are um, times in the game when finding out a clever way to deactivate opponents is much more exciting than shooting them. When you approach an encounter, you can decide, do I take it covertly or do I go for an all-out firefight? People are really going to remember this game. Lots of weapons, great characters and great gameplay. This is Golden Knight. Mm -hmm. Thank you.